painting that was I finished recently, which is okay. So this will I'll just bring it out so that you can see the progression oh, great. of what I do. So this is a um, a friend of mine who posed for me uh, two summers ago, and uh, I took a picture of her, and the image has been hanging around for a while. So. I finally took it out to start doing, to start working on it, and I do. I did a little um, casein painting on wood as a sketch to just work out the composition and find out if it's going to work. So then I went on to this canvas and worked that out a little bit more, and now I'm starting to work on the bigger one. So in a way, these are kind of preps mm -hmm. for me to figure out. Um, size, issues, problems, color, like whatever it is. This, this is also just absolutely the very beginning. And uh, I will take one of my canvases and just make, make up a composition, make up a figure, and then I'll get a model in to do exactly that pose that I've just composed. And then I'll work, I'll work from there. Sometimes I'll go with the model, sometimes I might make it up, but I'm less and less making stuff up and more and more getting models in to mm -hmm. draw from life, work from life. Those are my interiors. Those are nice. I have never seen those before. Uh, those are two studies for larger paintings. No people. And it's actually a real pleasure to have a reprieve from the figure. It's, it's more abstract for me. Uh, it's, I, I'm not trying to get the, uh, the face right. Like the face, is, the face is often a small part of the painting. I mean, always in a painting, if there's one part that isn't working, the whole thing will fall apart. Mm -hmm. uh, that's always the case in a painting. But with the face, it's just really specific, you know.